Hi there, this is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we're going to discuss how to calculate joint probability. So here we have a bucket of balls, each with a color. We have red, green, blue, and orange. And each ball also has a number on its face, some of which are rational, so 1, 2, and 3, some of which are irrational, such as pi and square root of 2. And we want to be able to calculate the joint probability of certain events happening. So we'll start with a simple example. What is the probability that a randomly drawn ball will be green and rational? Rational. Well, the simplest way to do this is to count all of the objects or events that satisfy both of these criteria and then divide that by the total number of events. Here there's only one ball which is both green and rational, green one, out of a total of 10 possible events. So it's simply 1 over 10. Okay, let's look at something a little bit different. Assuming that we already know that we have drawn a green ball, Otherwise, in other words, it is given that we've been that we've drawn a green ball. What is the probability of drawing a rational? In other words, what is the probability of rational given green? Okay, so in this case, the denominator of our fraction is no longer going to be 10. It's going to be to the number of green events, which in this case is 3. From that subset, we simply need to calculate the number of rational balls, which in this case is 1. Notice how this is much more likely than this if we already know that one of the balls we've drawn is green. Let's look at it the other way. What if we already know that a ball is rational? What is the probability that it's green? Again, the denominator of this fraction is not going to be 10, but instead is going to be the number of rational balls. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5. Okay. Of those 5, how many are green? Well, just this one again. Awesome. So although these different probabilities that we're trying to calculate may sound very similar, the actual probability of these events happening is quite different, as you can see. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed how to calculate joint probability.